with a beacon of Virginia Beach ready for the next century and maybe beyond. A new life tonight for the old Cape Henry Lighthouse. It's been standing almost as long as the nation has existed. The lighthouse needed a major face and base lift. Now it's open again and ready for the public to visit. Tonight, New Science Mighty Lena Valores is following up on the efforts to preserve history. Lena. Well, the Cape Henry Lighthouse was the first public works project of the United States authorized by George Washington. It's withstood centuries of wind, rain, and snow. Back in the fall, it was closed to visitors, so it could get $1.1 million worth of work to keep it standing for centuries to come. Guiding ships into the harbor. You don't want to crash. You need kind of a beacon of light. That's the role the Cape Henry Lighthouse played when it was completed back in 1792. I can imagine if you were coming into the Chesapeake Bay, I mean, what how amazing this would have you know, looked. In 1881, a new lighthouse took that job, but the original on the Virginia Beach City Seal stayed standing. So the fact that we're here standing on something George Washington himself authorized in 1789, the people can still visit today is just so amazing. To keep it standing for centuries to come, Preservation Virginia and the city of Virginia Beach planned a restoration project. It also um, provides a setting that is uh, equal to the status of the lighthouse, which is a National Historic Landmark. When you walk up the steps to the lighthouse, the first thing you'll notice is the paved dune instead of sand and stone. There are also new steps into the lighthouse, a new safety rail, and a new compass rose. But the most important work, stabilizing the dune and the lighthouse. It had eroded significantly um, by the, really by the 1930s. Now there's a series of retaining walls with plastic, soil, and sand supporting the base of the lighthouse. It was important to be able to cover it up to the original level to stop the erosion that was occurring, damage to the stone, and to put something in place that would settle once and for all the problem of erosion of the dune. The lighthouse reopened to visitors a few weeks ago. I think it's really majestic. Bringing people in from near and far. Uh, I think our farthest visitors were from Sweden this past week. And although it's no longer providing that guiding light, it's still a symbol of the city, standing for centuries to come. Also new is a shuttle that takes visitors from the entrance of Little Creek Fort Story to the lighthouse. The official opening ceremony for the lighthouse is this Saturday, and you can help keep the lighthouse around by participating in the Pints for Preservation fundraiser. We have those details on wavy.com. I'm Maria Elena Baloris, 10 on your side.